We were founded in 1864 when Denver was just a mining camp with maybe 3,000 people in it. And starting in the mid-90s, we built 15 buildings on campus and put something like $450 million into the campus itself. It created uh, a lot of energy, a lot of excitement. Uh, felt like the university was really moving. And as we look forward to 2014, the 150th birthday uh, of the University of Denver, it creates a very special opportunity to help the university achieve its aspiration and its vision of being a great private university serving the public good. Okay, very good. Okay, yes, ready? Now that we have the foundation, the physical foundation that we need to be around for the next 100 years, that it's time for us now to ensure that we are preparing our students and providing a curriculum that'll allow for the university to continue to. And so I think that's what ASCEND means, that we're ready to move to that next level. The kind of investments that need to be made are investments in people. So a big part of this campaign is raising funding to support students for scholarships for undergraduates, for fellowships for graduate students to invest in their lives. We feel so fortunate that we were here at a time when our families could afford it and we could find work to keep us going. But uh, there's no way that, that so many qualified students can now attend the University of Denver without some help. DU providing me with this full tuition scholarship just completely changed my life because I could um, come to DU, be a leader, implement programs, um, get involved, and I wouldn't have been able to do that anywhere else. And basically the idea was to create an artwork that could um, ultimately create a platform for relationships to build. I found out about PENS uh, about a year ago. Getting the grant through PENS kind of opened me up to this idea of there is ways to get involved and, and ways to make, you know, meaningful relationships through your passions, which is also exciting as an artist um, to get out of the studio and find ways to work with people more directly. And if we don't provide ways to support them, and support their dreams through financial aid, through scholarships and fellowships, then we're really going to actually be letting down both uh, ourselves from an equity perspective, but also we're letting down the future economic forces of the nation. Similarly, if we're gonna create a really extraordinary, remarkable intellectual environment within which people's minds and hearts can grow to their full extent, then we have to be able to attract the finest minds among our faculty here as well, from all over the world. When you think about customary international law, what comes to your mind? Those are the kind of people that you want to bring in your university. And these endowed chairs, these special kind of uh, places for them, that is what attracts them. Because it's their reputation that brings students, students who are going to be credible leaders in the national and international arena. Aid for trade has actually increased. I've been inspired by a lot of teachers and professors I've had who went out and actually um, were global citizens and actually helped people around the world. So I expect to be doing that. And I also want to come back and work for a nonprofit because from my leadership class I've learned to serve and that's what I want to continue doing because it's the most rewarding experience that I've had. We're working very hard at developing programs that will blend what we do in the Corbell School, one of the finest schools of international studies in the world, with the international programs in the Daniels College of Business, with the international law program uh, in the Sturm College of Law, to turn out people who have the, the interesting blend of abilities that are required to do business all over the world. In the world of microfinance, the ultimate borrowers, microfinance is uh, the process of granting small loans to people in the third world countries for whom a very small loan, it might be $50 or $100, can make a very, very significant improvement in their lifestyle for their whole family. Give people small loans 
in ways that they didn't have to provide collateral because they're poor. Bruce was teaching a class and one of his speakers at the United Nations was the director of Deutsche Bank's microfinance program. By involving the whole community in the loan, the head of Deutsche Bank's $80 million microfinance initiative was very impressed with our students, the questions they asked, and he suggested that we become their educational partner in that fund. And so we developed a class in social entrepreneurship and microfinance. The value of that class is that it's an interdisciplinary class. Not only do business students take that class, but schools from the Corbell's International Studies Program, the law school, and others take the class as well. I think of this campaign as, as being a defining one for us, but in many ways for higher education in general. You know, what do colleges and universities really do? How do they improve the lives of individual citizens? And so when I think about Ascend, I think about the university rising to a higher purpose. We're working with uh, the Corbell School of International Studies, and the Media, Film, and Journalism Studies Department, and the Daniels College of Business. And they um, decided that they wanted to do something in Kibera, known as Africa's largest slum, in Nairobi. In Kibera, there's a problem with access to water and sanitation. And we are trying to figure out a way to do this that is scalable and sustainable. Um, we have been working with uh, Rotary who built uh, eight uh, water and sanitation facilities, bathroom facilities. We would like to build more of those. And we want to do that right, ultimately improving the health conditions of the people of Kibera. I think education is the civil rights issue of the 21st century. And uh, if we can't provide quality education for all children, then really as a nation, we're at risk. Our hope is that we will be the most influential and best producers of new teachers, not only in the region, but hopefully nationally. I feel I owe much of my success to my experience here on campus. Wonderful friends that are still the closest friends that I have today. Well, here's one of them right next to me. My wife and I got married in uh, Evans Chapel. It's a very important part of our life and uh, continues to be. And it's just an honor to be able to, uh, to be able to serve it. The education that we provide for our students, the nature of the experience here that they have on campus, the manner in which their minds change and their uh, hearts grow as well during that period of time, the kinds of people that we are graduating and what they do with their lives. Those are the measures of a really great university and that's what we're after this time. I know that I wouldn't have this opportunity without a scholarship and um, I know that if I'm in the position to give and donate I would love to in the future because I would love to give as many kids as I could this opportunity like I did.